Good evening children. Today we are going to read the first chapter of SST that is evolution of man. Okay, as by the word only you can understand what is the meaning. The word evolution means that from where these human beings came on earth and how they came, how many years they took. So now I am beginning as you can see on the board that I have written life begins on earth 4500 million years ago and you know that 1 million equals to 10 lakh 1 million equals to 10 lakh so just think how many years have passed till the human beings came on earth and for how many years we are staying or surviving on this earth the age of the earth is now calculated to be about 4,500 million years. In the early period of its existence, the earth was restless. The earth was restless means so many drastic, so many sudden changes were occurring. Deep seated forces inside the earth, sometimes wind, rain and ice were constantly changing. The earth's surface. It were, they were forming mountains, oceans. An example of this process, we can get an example of this process that nowadays we can have the peak of Mount Everest where under the thick ice can we are having at present we are having the Mount Everest and then it was found under the thick ice. Lot of fossils of animal have been found. It shows that once they lived in the bed of the ancient sea. So all these things are there. So how the animals used to stay means the best example we are getting is of this particular Mount Everest. Just think how difficult we today uh, we can't think also of climbing it up but at that time the people used to stay here and under its uh, under it only so many fossils of animals and other things have been found. Okay, uh, just now I have told you that this was found nearly 4,500 million years ago. So this earth's history, if we talk about, if we present the earth history or if we represent the earth history uh, just as a road of 100 kilometers, just think that a road is there of 100 kilometers. And till the time we cross the 50%, till the time we cross the 50 percent we cannot be aware means what kind of conditions were there so okay if we don't cover the first 50 kilometers how we would come to know about the vegetation or about the lifestyle we would have to continue so we would have to continue our journey for nearly 80 kilometers or 85 86 kilometers then we will come to know about the simplest thing that we would be able to know about the worms, the jellyfish or the other kind of things. Okay, then only we can have the appearance of fish in the sea. At the 93rd kilometer, certain organisms would leave the sea to live on land. Firstly, we have reached the sea, then we would reach to land. Means in the 93rd kilometer, we would be reaching the land. The mammals appeared on the scene after the 90th kilometer. The animals or the other the animals appeared on the earth after 98 kilometers. This entire period of man's physical evolution would not more than 20 meters of our journey. It means if we want to know in detail, if we study in detail, it's a deep thing. Nearly 4,500 years. Just multiply into 10 lakh. So what would be the answer? So lengthy calculation. So now that was the fact. Now, initially we begin with ice age. As you know, the meaning of the word ice. Now I'm going to talk about the ice age. Now what do you mean by ice age? Ice age means uh, a particular period when almost the whole of earth, a particular time when almost the whole of earth was covered with deep sheets of ice when the whole earth was covered with deep sheets of ice is known as ice age 
if you would have seen your refrigerator in the freezer if you don't open the freezer for several days then after whenever you will be opening up uh, it after 10 15 20 30 days then you'll find that it is it is totally frozen how difficult it would be there to survive when the age began continents and oceans had taken their present shapes okay when this age begin when this i when this ice age begin at the time the people have taken or you can say the oceans the continents have taken their places the oceans the continents have taken their present shapes present shapes means whatever kind of oceans or whatever kind of continents we see today that things have taken place at that time okay after this all these things were found in the northern parts of asia all these things mountains etc were found in the northern parts of Asia, Europe and North America. Where it was found? Northern parts of Asia, Europe and North America. Asia, Europe and North America. All these things were found in those areas. Okay. Because these areas, the areas of Asia, Europe and North America, they are having alternate phases of extremely cold and warm climates because here we find different kind of climates. If we talk about Asia, if we talk about American countries or European nations, there is a very big difference of cold and warm climates. The early man used to travel. The early man used to travel uh, from one place to another in order to get a suitable climate but the problem was that at certain places it was too cold and certain places it was too hot and both these conditions were very difficult for a human being to survive. The ice age is a period of long term reduction in the temperature of earth's surface. Now this ice age was the period or is a period of long time reduction. Long time reduction means the temperature is reducing down of earth's surface. Early man made great progress and the early man have made a great progress in this ice age. The big climatic changes during the ice age had a great impact on men and animals. This climatic changes was having a great impact. A good reaction was there on men and animals of the time. They migrated. Now what is the meaning of the word migrated? The word migrated means to move from one place to another or to settle to some other place. The big climatic changes during the ice age had a great impact on men and animals of the time. They migrated north and south with different phases of heat and cold. They migrated to north and south with the different phases of heat and cold. The animals which dependent on particular plants. Now for example, uh, if just think if we only change our position or if we only migrate from one place to another then what would be the condition? For example, if you are living in Rajasthan and suddenly you have to move to uh, Kullu, Manali or Leh Ladakh, then what would be the temperature? Here the temperature is above 40 and there the temperature is in minus. So it would be too difficult for us to survive there. Then our body will not be able to survive in those areas. The animals which dependent on particular plants for food had to move away or adapt themselves to a new diet. So now it was a problematic thing for both human beings and animals. The animals had to adapt a new kind of new kind of diet or whatever they used to get there in the new place. They have to be dependent on that only. Sometimes barriers on lands and on the seas stopped the migrants. What used to happen earlier as you know that there was no mode of transportation. So many a times seas were there, rivers were there or huge lands were there which became too difficult for the people to cross those areas. After that, okay, and many new species that were unable to adopt themselves to the change climate and new diet died out. And now what happened? At the time, some of the animals, some of the birds and animals, they were not able to adapt themselves to the new conditions. They were not able to adapt themselves to the new conditions. And due to that, what happened? Many of them died. And the cause of the death was many a times it was diet also. Many a times it was the 
temperature also the temperature was increasing or decreasing or they were not getting ample amount of food so these were the causes okay others went others went through a process of evolution now what is the meaning of the word evolution here i have written the word evolution the way in which living things change and develop over million of years the way in which living things change and develop over million of years is known as evolution simply it means that with the passage of time we if we see ourselves how much we are changing we are changing with the passage of time you can see that in your houses you would be having a small uh, mobile phones also and nowadays you can see the uh, as with the time the mobiles are upgrading themselves or they are getting updated now best example is that we are having the classes on the mobile phones only now the next point is others went through process of evolution and developed into new species now new species came into fact better equipped to survive in the new climate so new kind of things were there species were there animals were there they started surviving there among these species that lived through the great climatic changes were advanced primates particularly men human beings also developed and this word is primates i have written the word primates what is the meaning of the word primates primates mean a member of the most developed and intelligent group of mammals including humans monkeys and apes so earlier what was the condition all these animal apes and monkeys were found so later on with the passage of time you would have heard that gorilla monkeys and with the time they converted into human beings men belong to the group of mammals the example of prim primates is man or human being is an example of primates now let's talk about men stands man stands erect now the main difference which occurred the main difference which occurred was that if you would have seen the animals if you talk about the evolution of earlier man early man used to uh, be he, uh, they were totally dependent they were means they are, today we are standing straight or we don't need our hands to stand up but during that time the hands as well as the feet of the animal they were it was on the ground only they used to walk on both hands and that and with the time they started turning up if you will see in your book a uh, picture is given on page number 7 evolution of early man they used to bend then they become bit straight then more and after that finally nearly 100 uh, nearly few year uh, few centuries back human being started standing straight or they erected out means with time to time they started erecting the tree apes earlier animals were found on trees only the tree apes common ancestors of gorilla earlier human beings were in which form they were in the form of gorilla they were in the form of chimpanzee gorilla chimpanzee and then they converted into human beings means firstly they were gorilla then chimpanzee and then human being or man some of the apes came down from the trees now maximum apes or these animals were found on trees only so they left the trees and gradually learned to stand then to walk with the help of their hind legs what is the meaning of the word hind legs hind legs means bended legs so with the time changes occurred this was the most important event in man's evolution this particular system when they started standing when they learned to stand and then to walk with the help of their hind legs was the most important event in man's evolution the erect position helped the erect position helped man to look farther in all directions when you are standing you can move your neck in any of the directions and your eyes can see the things which are at a very great distance and now if you are able to see your left right in all the directions then only you will be able to save yourselves now at that time they were able to save themselves from their enemies mostly the bigger animals now what used to happen earlier that the smaller animals were being crushed out or were being hunted by the bigger animals means the survival of the fittest as in a forest what happens the king is the lion only so he himself 
has to kill the other small animals to maintain his superiority. You can call superiority or you can also say that for food also he has to kill the other animals. They were thus on the road to developing a new way of life. So in this manner, there was a new way of life. Life on earth resulted in biological changes. When life came on earth, biological, biological changes started occurring. The apes daily exercise of climbing trees. What the animals used to do or what the apes used to do, they daily used to climb the trees several times. So that's why they used to climb the trees several times. Their bones have already developed. Their wrist, okay, whenever you climb, whenever you are climbing or to any place or when you are uh, uh, going to uh, do push-ups, the entire force or you have to use your wrist. If you are playing any game, cricket or table tennis, lawn tennis, then you have to use your wrist. So now in this manner, the wrists started developing or the bones of their wrist and accustomed their hands to grasping things and now they were able to grasp the things and now they were able to use their hands with the time. In a standing position, the forelimbs were free to handle objects. In a standing position, the forelimbs were free to handle objects and to hold stout sticks as weapons. They used to hold the stout, means the sticks which they used to take for standing. Now it started working for them or these sticks started working for them as a weapon. With the passage of time, the hands developed flexible. Now with the time, the hands started, uh, the hands started or it turned into or it developed into flexible fingers. Now the entire game, if you are using your mobile phone, if you are using your uh, laptop, then all the things are dependent on your fingers. If your fingers are not flexible, if your fingers are not flexible, then you won't be able to write or to play or uh, you're able to play on your mobile or on your laptop. This new development made the ape man a craftsman. He could now grasp things and bring them closer to his eyes. Now, with the help of this, he could bring the things nearby his eyes, side by side the position of the internal organs of the body. Now, with the passage of time or due to this practices only, the internal organs of the body, they also changed to suit the erect position. Best example is you can see a small child, a child of 2, 3, 4 months. With the time, when he turns to be of one year or one and a half or two years, you can easily see that firstly he used to only crawl, he could, he could not crawl also. Crawl means he could not crawl also. But with the time, the child starts crawling, then he starts standing, then he is able to hold the things. So this, all these thing comes with the time. Now, other point is the brain developed. Okay. With the time, the brain developed and helped him to use his intelligence. Now, when the brains started developing, now the people or the other things or the other human beings were able to use their intelligence in fashioning tools. Now, they were able to fashion tools and gradually in rising above the other. They started, means with the time, they started development or there was a development in the human beings. Now, with the time only, Man learns to make tools work with his fellows. Now, the human beings have learned to make tools. Now, what is the use of tools? What is the use of tools? Simply you can say, for your survival you need tool. Tool means today also, uh, for, writing, uh, for writing you are having a pen, pencil. For cutting your fruits of vegetable, you are having a knife. Means these are the tools. But at that time, the tools were not made of metal. The tools were made of stone. All the tools were made of stone itself. Biological development alone, biological development alone does not explain the essence of development of human being. The work that he performs in cooperation with his fellow men and with the help of tools. Simple thing. Nowadays also you can see that without the help of others, without the support of others, you cannot survive. You have to help him. Means you are dependent on the other person. Which he makes distinguishes man in the animal world. And this quality only. 
that human beings can use their brain human beings can use their brain this particular brain makes them different from other animals the first tool he used were a piece of stone short question can come that what was the first tool which these human beings used the first tool was stone and other things that he found lying around and whatever he used to found on the ground lying that were the tools only gradually he made many new tools and with the time he started making tools thus he then changed natural objects into implements and took the first big step towards improving living conditions which are provided by nature means for example they have started uh, they have started th their tool making with a stone now stone only was wrapped up with the help of leaves along with a wood or a plank so now these things only started developing and other things are now the most important thing the biggest difference between a human being and an animal is their speech now we should talk about man's power of speech every generation of human beings inherits the knowledge of the previous ones means whatever qualities you are having you are having from your previous ones means certain qualities you are having your of your father mother they are having it from their grandfather and the grandfather is having from his grandfather so now these things we are getting from generation to generation okay and with the time only new kind of knowledge new kind of things are also developing it is through the continuous accumulation and transmission of knowledge transmission means transfer it is through the continuous accumulation and transmission of knowledge that man makes progress best example is earlier you would have seen the computers when initially they were introduced they used to take one room complete one room with the time now the laptops or the computers are totally foldable you can fold them and you can keep them in your bags and you can move away so this is the process or this is the period of transmission transmission means changing period the ability to speak the unique features of man makes this process of transmission possible if you are able to speak then only this process of transmission is possible i am speaking something to you you are able to hear it you will convey the same knowledge or the same thing to the other person so this is a mode of transmission if you are not able to understand my language or if i am not able to speak then how i would be able to transmit or how the process of transmission is possible now we should talk about the species of early man i will be writing on the blackboard on the whiteboard i will be writing all the names now the point is species of early man okay the word species of early man the first one is australopithecus this is the first one the second one is pithy p i t h e cantho canthropus next one is next okay the first one is now i'm just telling the names the first one is after that they were third fourth fifth and sixth i have written the first one was australopithecus second one is 
Zinzanutropus. Uh, Third one is Pithecanthropus. Fourth one is Sinanthropus. Fifth one is Nindertel. Sixth one is Cro Magnon. Or they are also known, this last one are also known by the name of Homo sapiens or Homo sapiens. This is the term. Now, again I am repeating the names. The first one is Australopithecus. Second one is Zinzanthropus. Third one is Pithecanthropus erectus. Fifth one, fourth one is Sinanthropus. Fifth one is Nindarthal man. Last one, last and the final one is cro magnon man or Homo sapiens. Now, the first species of the early man was found in Africa. Where it was found? It was found in Africa. It was the best example was found in Africa. Firstly, the first species of the early man was found in Africa. They were given the name of Ramapithecus. They were given the name of You can see they were given the name of Ramapithecus. After that, they used to live around 8 million years ago. They used to live uh, how many years ago? 8 million years ago. The first ape man was the first ma uh, ape man who walked upright and was very similar to man like being was found in Central Africa. Okay, the first person or the first ape like man who was found walking like a man was found in Central Africa. They were given the name of and what name they were being given? They were given the name of Australopithecus. Okay and after that so many subspecies came. Sub means under this only so many others were also found. They were Australopithecus, Zinzanthropus, uh, definitely made tools and all this all these things were making tools. These beings lived around 5 lakh years ago and what was the time period when they were being found? They were found nearly 5 lakh years ago. Just think 5 lakh years ago. They lived naked. They used to live naked like other animals and ate mostly nuts. And what was their food? They used to have nuts, roots, insects. They used to have nuts, roots, insects and worms. The remains of the earliest man like beings in Asia were found in Java. The remains of those were found in Java. I will be asking certain questions from this only. So now this was the entire system. Okay, As I have told you earlier men used various tools and what they used to do for their food? The early men used various tools. Tools were made initially of stone to hunt animals for their food. Okay, if I talk about uh, in a short, if I'll tell you the important points, the ice age is a period when almost the whole of earth was covered with deep sheets of ice. This was the definition of ice age. Then second point is early man made great progress during the period of ice age. Third point, man belongs to the group of mammals. Man belongs to the group of mammals and they are known as primates. Modern man is called Homo sapien. Modern man is called Homo sapien means we are the example of Homo sapiens. Only human beings have the ability and what makes us differ from the animal because we are able to speak and the other animals or the other mammals are not able to speak. Now, I will ask certain questions and I hope so that you will be able to give the answer. I am just writing, the, I will be writing the answers on the board. Okay, my first question is, first species, first species of early man was found in First species of early man was found in which place? It was, I am giving the options also, Africa, America, Europe. I am repeating the question and the option. 
फर्स्ट स्पीसीज ऑफ अर्ली मैन वॉज फाउंड इन एफ्रीका अमेरिका और यूरोप नाउ फॉर दिस द आंसर इज एफ्रीका फॉर दिस द आंसर इज एफ्रीका द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नाउ द फर्स्ट एप मैन इनिशियली आई टोल्ड यू ऑल दिस थिंग्स द फर्स्ट एप मैन हु वॉक्ड अप राइट एंड वॉज वेरी सिमिलर to man like being was found in southern africa eastern africa or central africa i'm again repeating the options southern africa eastern africa or central africa answer is central africa the first ape man who walked upright and was very similar to man like being was found in central africa next question is by third question the remains of the earliest man the remains of the earliest man like being were found in asia in harappa tokyo or java i'm repeating the answer and the question options in the question the remains of the earliest man like being were found in asia in harappa Tokyo or Java for this the answer is Java okay my fourth question ramaphitecus the first species of early man lived around 8 million years ago 8 lakh years ago or 8000 years ago again i am repeating Ramaphitecus the first species of early man lived around 8 million years ago 8 lakh years ago 8000 years ago and the answer is 8 million years ago 8 million years ago the fifth question a sub species a sub species of australopithecus dash definitely made tools now what was the option which i have written on the second number i am just reminding you i have written it on the second number my options are zinzanthropus sinanthropus neanderthal man what is the option again i am repeating the options zinzanthropus sinanthropus Neanderthal man and the answer is Zinzanthropus. The answer is Zinzanthropus. T H R O P U S. Now, all these answers are right. Okay, so it is just for your short revision. Now, certain fill in the blanks are there. I'm just coming to that. My first fill in the blank is. early man made great progress during dash age early man made great progress during dash age which was the first age what we have studied definition also i have written here and that is the ice age ice age second one man belongs man belongs to the group of mammals man belongs to the group of mammals known as answer known as primates pri mates third question the tree apes common ancestors of gorilla chimpanzee and man lived around dash million years ago dash million years ago and the answer is 10 million years the answer is 10 fourth question the first tool fourth question is the first tool man used were pieces of what was the first thing that was stone my fifth one every generation of human beings every generation of human beings inherits the dash of the previous ones 
in the end i have given this example that certain qualities you would have learned from your father your father would have learned from your grandfather and like that so every generation of human beings inherits every generation of human being inherits the dash of the previous ones the answer is knowledge of the previous ones knowledge knowledge of the previous ones so i have told you the fill in the blank these are the answers again i am repeating early man made early man made great progress during the ice age this is a kind of revision also second point is man belongs to the group of mammals known as primates third point is the tree apes common ancestors of gorilla the tree apes common ancestors of gorilla chimpanzee and man lived around 10 million years ago fourth one the first tool the first tools man used were pieces of stones the first tools man used were pieces of stone fifth one every generation every generation of human beings inherits the knowledge of the previous ones every generation of human beings inherits the knowledge of the previous ones i hope so that this chapter would be clear to you certain terms are there which i would define like uh, i have used the first word was organism certain words which you should be aware of the first word is organism organism means an orga an organized living body plants animals birds insects etc organism in organism comes uh, living bodies like plants animals birds insects migrate migrate means to move from one place to another migrate means to move from one place to another whenever you leave your school you take the migration certificate after passing your class 10th or class 12th you have to take the migration certificate third point is evolution the way in which living things the way in which living things change and develop over million of years means the process of change or development in years the fourth word is primate p r i m a t e the word primate means a member of the most developed a member of the most developed and intelligent group of mammals including humans monkeys and apes next word is flexible what is the meaning of the word flexible flexible means able to be changed easily according to the situation able to be changed easily according to the situation then the next word is intelligence the ability to learn understand and judge the ability to learn understand and judge is intelligence and this intelligence increases with the passage of time this intelligence increases with the passage of time next word is transmission the process of passing something from person to person the process of passing something from person to person is known as transmission next word is species a set of animals a species means a set of animals or plants having similar characteristics again i am repeating a species means a set of animals or plants having similar characteristics is known as species so for today this much only i hope so you would be able to understand and if you are having any query you can ask it